Dialogue and inclusiveness is an important vital essence of democracy. Any dialogue that can take us out of this morass and any dialogue which will lead to the welfare of the state of Jammu and Kashmir and its people, we are all for it. The entire team from Jammu, which was here along with me, have reposed faith in Dr. Farooq Abdullah because he is not only the president of the national conference, he is the tallest leader of Jammu and Kashmir, and he has assured us that he will represent us and the people of Jammu and Kashmir with his wisdom and he alone and alone can take this dialogue forward for the welfare of the people of Jammu and Kashmir and anything that is for the welfare of Jammu and Kashmir. So far as Jammu is concerned, the pluralistic Jammu has its own aspirations and its, uh, its own um, uh, desires. We are for singular Jammu and Kashmir have always stood for the unity of Jammu and Kashmir and equitable justice to all regions and sub-regions of Jammu and Kashmir and we will always hold the aspirations of all the people of Jammu and Kashmir as much as for Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. Do you think possibility of peace? Do you think possibility of peace in Jammu and Kashmir without dialogue process between the two countries? Because yesterday when we asked this question, Mahbuba Mukti, I will not. I will not get into the intricacies. Where Dr. Farooq Abdullah is going for a dialogue. It is a dialogue with the Prime Minister of India, and it's an inclusive dialogue. And we are very hopeful that this dialogue will lead to betterment of the state of Jammu and Kashmir peace, progress, prosperity of Jammu and Kashmir. We are for Jammu and Kashmir, for the people of Jammu and Kashmir. We are not here for any power politics. We are here for uh, the people of Jammu and Kashmir and we will always stand for the people of Jammu and Kashmir, their welfare, their growth, their development. Sir, sir, please, sir, sir. Please, sir, sir. Please, 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 Personally, I am an optimist and any dialogue is the way forward and dialogue should be allowed to happen. We hope that the two sides discuss with an open mind with only one objective, that is the welfare of the people of Jammu and Kashmir and the identity of Jammu and Kashmir and its people.